Hi, I'm Dr. Bertice Berry. I lived around the corner growing up from my Aunt Gladys. My Aunt Gladys and my mother were, as they would say, thick as thieves. They were best of friends. They were sisters. She wasn't really my aunt. I didn't find out till later she was my mother's like second cousin or something, but they grew up together and they were very, very close. They were sisters. Aunt Gladys had a next door neighbor, Miss Libby, and the three of them would get together and talk through the walls and the windows and they would laugh and talk and listen to Al Green loudly and yes, 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 tell it to me, baby. A little ways down the street from Miss Libby were two people who would come by and sometimes join into the conversation. In the mornings, they would go to work with men's clothing on and in the evening, they'd come out to talk to Aunt Libby, Aunt Gladys, and my mother dressed in women's clothing. And this was as natural and as normal as anything else going on in our neighborhood. But I was a child and in my undeveloped mind or process and ways of thinking, I only saw the surface. So I started to ask questions. Ma, I'd ask later on, are those men? And she said, they are neighbors. And she'd call them by their names. I'd say, well, are they women? she said, they're our neighbors. she called them by their other names because they had two sets of names. And this was as normal, natural as double Dutch. It's difficult to do, but if you grow up doing it, it's a part of life. One day, she said, is Aunt Libby your aunt? And I said, yeah. And she said, no, she's not. She's our neighbor who's like my sister who is your aunt? I was so confused. She explained that at the surface of things, we only see the surface, but if you go deeper, you can see the truth. She also explained another thing. She said, some people's business is their business and it's not yours. If they're loving and kind and decent, you treat them as such. The inside is so much more important. After a while, I began to look a little deeper and I noticed the colors of their clothes. I noticed the texture of their suits. I noticed the smell of their cologne and perfume. I noticed the way they walked in the morning and the way they walked at night. I noticed what my mother and Miss Libby and Gladys, who were really Aunt Libby and Aunt Gladys noticed they were beautiful and they were a part of us. When all you have is undeveloped thoughts, you go to the surface. But as you think and you learn and you read and you grow, you can go to the heart. I love you.